Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video or if you have never seen my face before, hi my name is Marloes and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will be unboxing the No Make No Life box for the month July. And once again, just as every other month, I am super excited to find out all the cute Korean and Japanese stuff that they put inside of this cute little pink box. So yeah, let's dive into this box and find out together all things inside the No Make No Life box for July. Before we dive into the unboxing video of the No Make No Life box for July, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos and vlogs I post on this channel. And while you're at it, also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching these unboxing videos. And without further ado, let's get into this video. The theme of the No Make No Life box for July 2023 is Harajuku and Neon Nights. I'm not really sure how they are going to play into this, but I was personally expecting a little bit more summer kind of theming vibes, but maybe they will surprise me with the Harajuku Neon Nights vibes. So let's quickly move on to the first item. The first item is by the brand Hakusa. Hakusa, I guess, because that is basically the only thing that I can read on this packaging. Also, the back is not readable to me, so we are going to find out in the little flyer what kind of item I'm actually holding. Let's have a look. This is an item from Korea and as I mentioned before, this is the Hakusa or Hakusa sheet mask. This mask contains authentic Koji Amazaki, a popular drink made from fermented rice for a luxurious experience. Amazake, I hope I am not butchering the pronunciation, is known to be moisturizing and said to improve skin texture and firmness. So this is going to be a treat to my face. And it also has a little sticker right here that says 2017 Kura Master. But once again, that is basically all I know. It contains one sheet and my face is supposed to love this and sheet masks are always a thumbs up. So I'm excited to give this a try. Item number two is this adorable item from Sanrio. I can see cinnamon roll hand soap and it has a little dangly bit with a Sanrio characters. And that is once again everything that I can read. This is an item from Japan, the Sanrio keychain hand soap. The cute travel accessory for a festival or night out. This cute Sanrio hand soap comes with a carabiner to attach to your bag, key or a lanyard. Don't sacrifice your comfort on a night out again. Get either a cinnamon roll with a pink grapefruit scent, Kuromi with a blackberry scent or a My Melody in a peach scent. So I am going to have a pink grapefruit scent. And yeah, this looks absolutely adorable. And we are going to Disneyland Paris very soon. So I'm going to be taking this with me on that trip. Because, yeah, after you are touching like rides and places that thousands of people have been before, it is nice to have a little hand soapy with you. So definitely is super cute, especially in the Sanrio team and also very handy. Moving on with the first neon vibed item. I think this is from Point Stone Lash. But once again, I'm not really sure. Let's have a look. Point Stone Lash, Wink, Kira Kira Spice. 
and this is basically all I can see. These are like a little false lashes with a gemstone on them. So you can actually accentuate like the lashes on the outer side of your eye to give it a cool look. Not really sure if this is my vibe, but it fits the neon theme. This is an item from Japan. It is from the brand PRM and these are the Rainbow Point eyelashes. Harajuku Rainbow Fashion isn't just about the clothes. Get a head-to-toe Harajuku look with these Rainbow Point eyelashes. Add the point lashes to the outer corners of your eyelash line for a kawaii effect. Please be careful when applying the eyelashes and use skin safe eyelash glue to secure the lashes. So these are going to be very fun for a night out or a neon party or like something crazy. But yeah, on a day to day basis, I will not use these and these are probably going to be put in a drawer for a long time until I have a one of those parties when you can grab these. But yeah, they do fit the theme, but I would have preferred a different item. But let me know in the comments down below if you would be happy with these eyelashes and what you would actually use it for. But yeah, one of the items in the No Make No Life box. Next up, I have an item by Dodo. This is a double crayon eyeshadow. And if I'm looking at the packaging, I think this is going to be very pink, but I'm not really sure about that. This is an item from Korea, the Dodo Double Crayon Eyeshadow. Enjoy three different colors in one eyeshadow stick with the Dodo Double Crayon. This stick shadow has a base color with an accent color that you can use individually or combine them to create a third blended color. Get one of the five color sets. Ruby Amethyst, Emerald, Inca, Rose or Sapphire. Let's have a look. I cannot see which one I have, but I think it is pink. So I guess I have the Inca Rose, but I'm not sure about any of that. So this one I'm going to open up because right now we can't see shit. So are we going to have an ASMR moment? Nope. Sad. Aren't I lucky? Man, why do I always have that? Can I fix this in some way? Ugh, it is all squished in the tip. No, I cannot fix this right now, but if I'm looking inside the cap, I can see pink and green and it is sparkly, but mine is butchered, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. But yeah, that was... Oh, you could actually twist it up, I see right now, but mine is already twisted up. That is said, this can happen, especially with boxes that come from far. But yeah, I have a broken item. Maybe I can contact No Make No Life, but for now, unfortunately, I have a broken item. But I can already see it on the packaging right here that it's supposed to be pink and gray. So yeah, this is my broken eye crayon. Moving on with another sheet mask. This is by the brand The Seam or The Sam. You tell me. And this is their Rose Natural Rose Mask Sheet. So funny, they twisted that. Mm. And once again, this is all I can read. Let's have a look. The Seam and Natural Mask Sheet from Korea. Keep your skin moisturized with a natural sheet mask from The Seam. The ingredients were gathered from all over the world to help lock in moisture and to provide a subtle relaxing scent. The sheet is soft and fits on the face snugly. Get one of three relaxing types, lemon, rose or aloe vera. So I obviously got the rose scent. 
And I'm happy that this is the one that they gave me, so another sheet mask. The next item is probably more disappointing than the broken crayon, in my opinion, because right here I have some neon flash nail stickers. And they are once again not really my vibe. I love to do my nails, I use gel lock all the time and I also love to use some stickers but I'm not sure when I'm going to use these but these are from Japan the neon flash nail stickers get nail art that shines even on your night out these summer festive nail stickers glow under a black light perfect for the Tokyo summer nightlife so the fact that they do very well in black light is pretty cool on a night out. But the designs are not all that. So yeah, once again, this is super fun for a party or like Halloween or stuff like that. But this is a summer box. So I'm not all that excited about these. Sadly, the third disappointment in this box. I still have two items left in the box, but I'm going to save the best for last. Right here I have another item by Dodo. Hopefully this will not disappoint as much as the crayon. I have some multi glitter right here and this is like sparkly pink. So it's interesting to find out where I can actually use this. A brand from Korea, the Dodo Multi Glitter. One glitter for all of your colorful and sparkly needs. This Dodo Multi Glitter can go on your eyelids, lips and even your hair. Get 90s nostalgia with a sweet candy cotton scent. The formula is resistant to water, sweat and rubbing. Perfect for a Harajuku look but also for fun and creative music festivals, fashion or a rave. Get one of three different colors, universe pink, starlight clear and aqua moon. And I obviously got the universe pink and it actually looks beautiful. So once again, not really sure when I can actually use this, but maybe I can create some cool makeup looks. What does the application look like? Ooh, this is way different than I expected it to be. I expected it to be like pink as in the packaging, but... Wow. Okay, so this can actually be pretty fun on your eyes. Did it say that I can use it on my eyes? Sir, can I use this on my eyes? Eyelids! Yay! <laughs> so I can actually create some pretty cool stuff with this. Not really sure where and when I'm going to use this, but... So I am definitely going to try this out when I have a little party or something like that. So, happy with this one. And for the final product in the No Make No Life July box, I have a little square box and it says a limited love liner color palette, a romantic bloom collection in a lilac bouquet. That were a whole bunch of words. This packaging looks so good. The love liner romantic bloom eyeshadow palette from Japan. Bring a romantic mood to your eyes with Love Liner's Romantic Bloom Collection. Inspired by the dahlia and lilac flowers, these two different color schemes are sure to bring a floral beauty to your eyes. The dahlia bouquet palette has seven warm tone shades to add a touch of deep color to your look. The lilac bouquet has seven mauve, 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 not sure how to say that. Tones to combine transparency and dewiness and I got the lilac one. I would have been happy with either one because I can see how the other one is looking and that is more peaches, browns and natural tints. And this one 
is more lilac -y and pinky, but I love both of them. The design is very beautiful. These shades are so pretty and there are some hefty shimmers in here. So is my camera going to show this normally? Not really. This is what the colors look like. I can also do a little swatch. I These like basic colors right here, they are probably going to be like standard colors, but I'm excited to give this a try. I was expecting some chunkiness, but this feels so smooth and it looks insane on my finger. Let's do a little swatch. Okay. Can we see this? Oh, you can see the reflection. It is not like crazy silver when you swatch it. It's more like almost a transparent kind of vibe. But when the light hits it correctly, you can definitely see a reflection. So that is pretty awesome. Let's test another color. Let's have a look. What shall we do? I am going to go for the purple shade in the corner. This is almost like one of those color shifting thingies, thingamabobs. It looks purple, but when you shift it, it almost turns green. Not sure if it's picking it up, but that is so cool. It like shifts in color, but once again, I'm not really sure how well you can see it because this is the first one, the shimmery, and the other one is right on top, but I'm not sure how well you can see it, but I will do a better close-up. I am pretty impressed, y'all. I am going to have a lot of fun with this palette. The final swatch, like in the middle of my hand. Stunning! Super happy with this one. So. The palette actually makes up a little bit for the broken crayon, the neon stickers and the neon lashes because otherwise if the palette would not have been in this little box then I would have been very disappointed with this No Make No Life edition but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose and with this palette I'm like shimmering all over the place my whole hand is like galaxy glitter fest but I will definitely have some fun with this palette, so thumbs up for that! And that were all the items in the No Make No Life box for the month July. As I've mentioned before and as you might have noticed, I was not all that excited about most of the items that were in here. Some were like perfect and super awesome, but there were also a few little flops like the crayon neon stickers and the little lashes but yeah I've said this many times before some people might love these items and other people won't do so much with them but that is okay you know I am like stoked about this little palette so I am going to go to town with this one so definitely let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this No Make No Life edition. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me and you would also be helping me and this channel out a lot. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos and vlogs I post on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!